Unfortunately, animals have a knack for putting themselves in dangerous situations, especially if they are locked in an enclosure because they will always try to see what's on the other side of the fence. Have you ever seen a monkey get electrocuted? Do you think an electric shock could make a bird disappear? If you want to be shocked, keep watching as we look at terrifying moments when wild animals were electrocuted. <laughs> Number 15. Cat shocked by electric fence. These wild cats stand right below an electric fence and the second he touches the fence, he scrams out of there. I guess he understood the fence was dangerous. This black cat gets the scare of his life after he touches the electric fence and he runs for cover. This cat jumps on the handrail, but when he makes contact, he jumps over the white fence, maybe because of the shock he got on the handrail. This man put up an electric fence to keep a heron out, but after his cat discovered the fence, they decided to turn it off when they were in the backyard, because the cat kept getting shocks. A family put up this electric fence to prevent the goats from escaping, but this poor cat got shocked when he decided to go for a walk under the fence. After the incident, the family decided to turn off the fence. Number 14. Goat shocked by electric fence. Here is a goat that tries its luck with an electric fence, but the second it touches the fence, it runs off and bounces up and down moving as far away from the fence as possible. I guess that couldn't have felt good. These people installed an electric fence to keep their fainting goats safe from predators and for them not to escape. And this is their first encounter with the fence. Happy fainting! These goats, along with their guard dogs, are inspecting this fence and they know there is something suspicious about it. But when one of the goats barely touches the fence and gets a shock, all the animals run and understand they must not touch the fence. Goats have a proclivity for mischief because they're curious animals. But this goat dangling from a power line must be the oddest thing I've ever seen. I'm looking forward to seeing how these people handle the situation as they band together to save the goat. They first place a ladder in front of the goat in the hopes it will grab it and climb down. This will never happen. Then they wrap a rope around its legs and forcibly drag it down, which appears to work. They're eventually successful in saving the goat. What happened for this goat to become entangled in these cables is beyond me. Is this goat capable of flying? This goat was left hanging from a power line by its horns after it jumped out of a truck. A driver behind the vehicle honked his horn to try and get the truck to stop. The truck eventually stopped and the animal was rescued from the cables. Even if the goat tried to do this 1,000 times after the incident, it probably wouldn't be able to. What a fluke of nature! Number 13. Dog shocked by electric fence. This Doberman approaches an invisible electric fence and the second he gets too close, he feels the pain. He has no idea what's just happened and he's wondering if it's the cow's fault. He tries to figure out what went wrong but he's not willing to give it another shot. This is one smart dog. This dog barks continuously at this man drilling, but when the dog gets too close to the fence, he stops barking and starts running. This dog is curious and wants to get across so he can play with the cows. But the second he touches the fence, he runs the other way. I guess he finds out the hard way that cows are not to be spoken to. These dogs want to get close to these horses, but one of the dogs finds out that too close is dangerous and it hurts. The dog runs out of there so fast and I'm pretty sure he's not going back there anytime soon. Number 12. Snake shot by electric wire. This white oak snake tried to get into this hen house, but the electric fence not only stopped him, but it also killed him. I guess snakes are not the ideal animals for electric fences. An unlucky green snake gets fried when coming in contact with a 40,000 volt power line. The event that occurred in Chiang Mai, Thailand caused a complete power cut to the nearby hotel. Provincial power department workers fixed the line within two hours. I don't know why this huge snake decided to crawl up this electric pole, but when this employee tries to bring it down with a rod, the snake resists and holds on tight to the pole. I'm not sure if the snake gets a few shocks along the way, but the people manage to take him down alive 
and put him in a bag. This snake is dangling from an electric pole and he's attracting a lot of attention because birds begin to show up. I guess they're waiting for lunch. When the snake is zapped, it falls to the ground, but when the cameraman looks for it, there's no movement on the ground. I guess the birds already knew the outcome and that's why they showed up. Number 11. Bear shocked by electric fence. This small bear tries to get into this shop, but when he notices a fence and inadvertently places his paws on it, he gets shocked and walks away. A black bear approaches a fence, but when he stands up and gets closer to the fence, he finds out the fence is alive and it bites, so he runs for his life. This black bear approaches a campsite, but when he hits a roadblock and it stings, he turns around and runs for the hills. Number 10. Monkeys get electric shock. Here is a small monkey that comes looking for food, and for some reason, he jumps high in the air and goes flying. I guess the food had some pizzazz. Here is a monkey swinging on an electric line trying to reach the electric pole, and when he does, he swings onto the next cable and the next. But as soon as he touches the third cable, you can see the flames burn his body. The monkey falls to the ground and probably dies, even though we don't see the outcome. This monkey is fiddling around on this electric structure, and if he's not careful, he could end up feeling tingles. A monkey's curiosity almost gets it killed when it is electrocuted and falls to the ground. The monkey can be seen on the ground semi-conscious. For some reason, people put sand on the monkey and leave him there. Perhaps it's to cool off his body. Number 9. Leopard gets shocked. Everyone knows leopards are great climbers, but this leopard took things to another level when he decided to climb an electric pole. Unfortunately, the big cat found out about the dangers of electricity the wrong way and perished. In our thumbnail, a leopard hangs from an electric wire after he's been roasted by it. I guess the big cat didn't sense the danger and got caught off guard. Another leopard is dead after it climbed an electric pole. Onlookers watch the dead cat on the ground after the incident. After chasing a monkey, this leopard was electrocuted, and city officials had to climb and take the leopard out of there physically. Number 8. Chimp gets electrocuted. This chimp is looking for trouble when he decides to take a walk on the wild side. He manages to get to an electric pole before being zapped and weakened by the shock. He tries to hang on, but eventually drops to the ground where city officials and ambulance wait to catch and rescue the chimp. This baby chimp touches this electric fence and gets a shock, but what boggles my mind the most is the mother's reaction. She grabs her baby just like a human mother would and embraces it, holding it close to her and the father. What an amazing reaction. The baby seems fine and we can see his mom holding him tight making sure he will not be getting close to that fence again. Number 7. Cows getting electric shock. These cows are enclosed, surrounded by an electric fence, and every time one cow touches the fence, the entire herd backs off. It's kind of funny to watch. This young bull finds out soon enough not to go out wandering too close to the electric fence when he gets a small shock and backs away. I guess after a few of those, the animal understands not to touch the fence. For the first time, the four tiny calves were allowed to leave their calf enclosure shelter. They were initially allowed a little area to stretch their legs, locate their new feed and water bins, and become familiar with the electric fencing. They'll be released into the entire field once they've settled down and are no longer milking. Number 6. Squirrel gets electric shock. This squirrel is not a flying squirrel, but that's what it looks like when he gets zapped and takes a plunge to the ground. Squirrels are probably the animals that walk on electric cables and climb electric poles the most, so this puts them at great risk of receiving a deadly shock. This squirrel tries to get a quick lunch from his bird feeder, but he's zapped, and the shock sends him flying to the ground. He comes back for more, but it's the same result. I guess he'll need a few shocks to set him straight. This pesky squirrel tries to steal a food from a bird feeder, but when the feeder zaps him, he falls to the ground and gets zilch. The birds can now feed in peace. Well, think again. The squirrel is stubborn and keeps coming back and tries to find a way to avoid being shocked. But when he reaches for the feeder by placing one leg on the wire,
he gets zapped again. But this guy doesn't give up easily, and he keeps going back. And because of all the chaos he's caused, food has fallen to the ground and the squirrel's perseverance has paid off. You can see at one point, he gets zapped and his body jolts and freezes for a few seconds. Maybe he thinks the shocks are good for him, because nothing stops this feisty squirrel to go back for more, and he finally figures out how to eat without getting shocked. But it's not easy, because he must hold on in a certain way, and it's not easy to fall. He deserves full marks for his determination. No, this squirrel is not practicing a trapeze act for the circus. This little guy gets the shock of his life when he comes into contact with an electric fence. I'm surprised it didn't send him flying. I guess the shock is strong enough to discourage the squirrel from staying there, but not dangerous enough to knock him out. Number 5. Birds get electric shock by fence. Parrots are being electrocuted, according to the sibling of the person filming. So he grabs his camera and records the whole incident, and you can see the other two dangling by their beaks and one on its tail. They were producing an electric shock by climbing from wire to wire. They would not have been electrocuted if they just stayed on the line. These birds meet at the top of an electric pole, but one of the birds is unlucky and gets zapped. The bird falls to the ground, and the person filming approaches the bird. The bird is stunned, but is still alive, and after a few seconds it manages to fly away. I hope it learned its lesson. You can see how close this little bird is to being zapped, and when he is, he just disappears. I guess there's only one thing to say. Beam me up, Scotty. These chickens check out this electric fence, and I'm not sure it's effective, because one of the chickens goes right through the fence. He may have gotten a shock, but he's still on the other side. Number 4. Pigs get electric shock by fence. These people introduce their pigs to their new electric fence. It's a brief lesson that will help them to be more mobile and have access to more pasture. If you leave pigs in the same place too long, that land is not usable for a long time. But if you can move them frequently onto new patches of ground, it benefits them and the pastures. Pigs are intelligent animals, and it won't take long before they learn the consequences of touching an electric fence. But this little piggy touches the fence inadvertently and runs off after he does. This is a small enclosure, so it's not easy to stay away from the fence. These young pigs are out in the pasture for the first time after an electric fence has been installed, and one of the pigs, the black one, gets the scare of his life when he gets zapped. He scares all the other pigs in the process, and they all run away without knowing why. Number 3. Snail gets a shock. This slug is trying to crawl under an electric fence, and no one can do this slower than this guy. But no matter how slow he is, if he makes contact with a fence, he will be roasted. A snail approaches an electric fence with caution, but will that be good enough? This snail experiences a 6 volt shock as it touches an electric containment fence. Watch what happens when this snail sticks his head out and gets a shock. You can see the snail stick his head back inside immediately. Number 2. Horse gets electric shock by fence. This BLM Mustang would chew through the top wooden poles of this fence to escape to the highway. The owners installed an electric fence around the perimeter of the property to protect the horses and people commuting on the road. The other horses, which include quarter horses, mountain horses and Arabian horses, were also chewing on the wood but were unable to escape. They also placed mineral blocks in front of them to see if it was a mineral deficiency, but they believe it is simply boredom. When this horse approaches this fence, he feels what it's like to get a small shock. Apparently, if you listen carefully, you can hear the horse fart when he gets shocked. I guess being shocked brings out the best in him. This horse touches an electric fence for the first time and jumps out of there abruptly. But the owner of the horse expected a much bigger reaction from the horse. The horse gets close to the fence once again, but doesn't get shocked this time round. I guess he's learned his lesson. Number 1. Lion gets shocked by an electric fence. While on safari in South Africa's Sabi Sands Game Reserve, which borders the Kruger National Park, Ernest Porter, a safari guide, and his guests track two lionesses and a water buck, which they discovered lying in the grass with two lionesses just a few meters away. 
but the lionesses appeared hesitant to attack due to an electric fence beside the antelope. They assumed they chased it into the fence, ran full speed into the water buck, and then stopped because they were shocked. The lionesses were only a few meters away from the water buck, but they refused to attack. Electric fences are necessary in game reserves due to animals damaging equipment and theft, but they do occasionally interfere with the animal's natural behavior. They waited to see what would happen, and eventually, one lion jumped on the water buck, touched the fence, was shocked, and jumped off the water buck, perplexed. She then returned to the water buck and resumed her hunt. The video shows the befuddled lion being zapped by the fence and looking around, trying to figure out what's going on. Despite the fence's limited protection, the lionesses killed the water buck after being shocked several times during the attack. This lion has been electrocuted by this fence, and he's just laying on the ground. The fence is just supposed to be a deterrent, so the shock is not that strong, but this lion looks dead. I hope it's not the case. At the end of the video, we can see the lion's tail wag, so he's obviously still alive. Some of these were hard to watch, but my favorite was without a doubt, the bird that was zapped and disappeared. Abracadabra! Which one was your favorite? Why don't you let us know in the comments below? Well, that's our look at terrifying moments when wild animals were electrocuted. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and let us know in the comments section what you think. Check out our other videos and subscribe to be part of the fun. Click on the notification icon so you can see our new videos as soon as they're uploaded. That's it for now.